This is a five string precision bass kit from Pitbull Guitars. It comes unassembled and without a finish, so you get to paint it and put it together yourself. Now the unique thing about ordering a kit through Pitbull Guitars is that you are able to provide custom specifications. They will do almost anything outside of changing the body shape. Pitbull Guitars are based out of Australia, but their kits are made from a factory in China. This allows them to keep their prices competitive. The total cost of this base kit was right under $400 Canadian. So for instance, this base has a 30 inch scale length, making it one of the very few short scale five string bases available without spending thousands of dollars. As of filming this video, I believe the only options available for a short scale five string base is a Bryce base from Rondo Music, ESP LTD and Ibanez have their micro series of 28 inch scale length bases, along with a 30 inch five string Talman base and a shorter multi scale headless Ibanez base. And both of those Ibanez bases were not available when I made this kit. Now being a shorter 30 inch scale length rather than a 34 inch scale length lets you have a closer reach to the first fret for guitar players like myself to feel more comfortable on bass. So you're probably wondering how a low B string sounds since it's a shorter scale length. The B string is usable but it's very touchy and you have to have a very light feel. If you hit too hard it might go out of tune or vibrate too much. The first couple of frets are the most touchy. The open low B is decent and I find past the 5th fret everything evens out. One of the reasons I like to play a 5 string is I like to ground my thumb on the 5th string rather than grounding it on the pickup because then I'm limited to just one position but with the 5th string I can move my hand anywhere. As I move down to strings my thumb follows to mute the string underneath. It makes me feel more comfortable as I started with a 5 string and that's what I'm used to. Now, as mentioned, as this is a kit base, it did come in parts. They included an unfinished body and neck along with a package of hardware including the bridge, pickups, strings, pick guard, and everything you need to complete this base. So this is an ash body with a maple neck and fretboard. So I stained the body with ultra dye, the color is raspberry beret, and then I clear coated the body and neck with true oil. Now the headstock came as a blank paddle shape, but since I wanted something more classic, this is my end result. I chose to upgrade from the cheap hardware they sent me, so I added a Hipshot Kick-Ass Bridge and Hipshot Ultralight Tuners. The Hipshot Ultralight Tuners provide great stability. I chose to mix up my sound with a Bartolini 57 Classic Dual Coil Jazz Bass Pickup in the bridge and an Aguilar AG 60s P Bass Pickup in the neck. And to get the most out of these pickups I added a Seymour Duncan STC2 Active Bass Preamp. I did have some issues with the ordering process, but it was acceptable for the cost of this base. With this one specifically, I received an email that when it was finished from the factory, the picture showed black dot inlays as opposed to the perloid inlays that I ordered. They offered a complete rebuild of the neck or to give me a 5% refund, and as I'm not too picky on this spec, I decided to take the 5% refund. On my second order, which I'm still working on, they added an extra pickup route on the neck position of my base. So I informed them this is the second build of mine in a row that had a mistake, and this time they offered me a 20% refund to take it. But as this spec was more important to me, I wanted to rebuild. So they rebuilt the body and this time they added a flame maple veneer for free, which is very nice. The quality and feel is similar to a mid-level Squire bass. In that it feels solid enough to play without feeling cheap, although it won't blow you away like a warmth kit or another high-end bass. For the quality of the wood itself, I did notice some shifts from my Ontario Canadian climate, such as my second base experienced slight cracking in the seams. I think at this price point you have to expect some small issues, but that's also the unpredictable nature of wood. Although I do think I could play a show with this base without hesitation, but maybe not a tour. Overall, the ordering process for Pitbull guitars was solid. 
They respond to the emails quickly and understand the concerns of the customer. For the price of these kits, I think it's hard to beat their customer service. So the fact you can get different specifications for this kit, such as a different scale length, different pickup routings, and more, it really makes Pitbull guitar kits a steal at the price. If you're handy and patient, I would recommend them for a project kit. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Please click the like and subscribe button to help me grow my channel, and thanks for watching.